Good evening, PA Figs here. So it is the night before Bass's Fig Fest. If you don't know who Bass is, check out, check out uh, treesofjoy.com. That's his uh, online store for some of the figs and other uh, fruiting trees and shrubs that he sells. So a uh, big get together tomorrow at his house. A whole bunch of uh, us figgies are going there and it's going to be a good time. Lots of trades and uh, raffle for figs, barbecue, things like that. So. Let's take a look at what I have here. There are a whole bunch of items that I need to get ready to bring tomorrow. This here is a Italian 258. That's gonna go to Justin. Justin got a couple things. I think this uh, Cold Edame Roja is his as well. So those are going. I've got a bunch of smaller figs for folks. Let's see, which one was which? That's the Biferre. Might just bring these to give them away. What is this one? Green, Canadria. Nobody asked for those, but I might bring them for the raffle. This is a Preto. That's gonna be going to the uh, Fig Fest for a lucky person that down there. Let's see, what else do we have? This is the RDB for Ross. It's gotten quite big here in the greenhouse. This was all from that cuttings experiment I did with the uh, clay pots. And I did the cuttings with and without the the uh, wrap. And the wrap is uh, called buddy tape. It's a little bit like saran wrap probably use saran wrap actually and I might try it one of these days but it holds the moisture in so that the uh, cuttings don't dry out and I had much greater success you can see this one grew straight out of the cutting the ones that I didn't use the, the grafting tape on or the buddy tape on actually grew back from the roots and the top of the cutting dried out and died so you know both both uh, ways work but one gives you a much better result with your cutting uh, let's see what else Angelo's Dark, nobody asked for. Genovese Nero, I've got two Genovese Neros. This is Rob's versions that are uh, gonna be going. Let me give the bigger one to the person that asked for it first. So I'll put that aside. And then, let's see, what else do I have? This is the other RDB, which was asked for. This one's going to sing. All right, so we got those. I think those are everything that was asked for. And then I've got, this is a uh, air layer that I've been trying to get to root for Vito for over a year. And it's still alive. I did the scratch test on it, but it doesn't seem well rooted. So I'm gonna give it to him and you know we'll see what, what happens here. I think this is the second or third try for getting him a Soda Sicilian air layer. And I've got two more air layers on the Soda Sicilian in hopes that sooner or later one of them will take. It is a, uh, a bugger to, to root and to air layer that tree. Alright, what am I missing? Oh, I know what I'm missing. Uh, i got to pause the video for this. Alright, so this is a Malta Black air layer <laughs> for one lucky person. It is a very, very nice tree. I really am happy with the way the shape came out and the the branching on this guy and you can see it is already just loaded with figs or figlets so he, this should ripen some beautiful figs this year and I think the person will be pretty happy but it's a uh, very nice air layer alright and that pretty much sums up the uh, trades and and uh, things that I have and I think I'm also gonna get bring a couple of other figs this is a uh, violet so lace that I just had in the shade in the greenhouse here for too long and got real leggy. So I'll probably bring that for the raffle. I have another one out in the orchard, so some lucky person will get this for free. And there's a couple other things I'm going to bring. I don't want to uh, ruin the surprise, so I am going to end the video here. And I will actually continue this video uh, when we're loading up tomorrow and getting ready to go and there's a couple things tonight that I might show still and prep for the uh, for the fig fest, so stay tuned. 
All right, so here is some of the fresh salmon that we've caught, and uh, it's Atlantic and Pacific salmon. And I've put this together for the Fig Fest tomorrow. We've got some rosemary, honey, some figs, some garlic, some olive oil, salt, pepper, lemon, butter, all the good stuff. So we're going to wrap these up. And then uh, when we get to Bass's Fig Fest tomorrow, we'll pop them on the grill. And uh, hopefully everybody can enjoy. It's a uh, mixture of figs. Nothing in particular. It's uh, you know kind of whatever I had left last year that I froze. So uh, we'll see how these come out. They certainly look good. Smell The rosemary smells really good. So we'll see how things come out. I mean, normally you don't you, you don't want to grab figs. It's not a common practice, just because they grow from cuttings easily. So some varieties uh, are harder to grow. They don't grow as fast. So so uh, that's a good idea here to graft. There's different methods of grafting. Um, one of my favorite, uh, uh, I call it the Z graft. So I guess that's what you want to see. Yes. All right, so what I like to do is I, I like to keep about two buds, two or three buds. So about here, I'll keep the top. I'll take this off. And um, I remove all the, anything below the, the graft union here so it doesn't take away any of the sap. What kind of rootstock is that? That's a brown turkey. All right. Good idea. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone wants the cuttings? Yeah, if anybody wants the leftover, it, it is a PT. So if All anybody right. wants it. Now, I, lo I like to find something a little straight that looks straight for me. And uh, maybe this, this here, or maybe the one below it. So I cut it on an angle, like this, <laughs> and then I make an angle on, on this one too. The, that's called the sign wood. So I've been doing this with uh, any tree, like apples, or mangoes, or oranges. Uh, so I start with the smaller scion. The same thing works with uh, if the sign wood is, is thicker than the rootstock and it works for me. Yeah. So, uh, I start off with the sign with the smaller one, and I make a, like a, a slanted cut on this side, and then on the other side, I make I make another cut like this. All right. So make sure it's nice and straight, and then I try to match the the width of this cut with the with the rootstock. So. So I don't go all the way in, just barely. So you can see it. You just want the green showing. Oh, yeah. So you kind of want, the reason for that is you want the camp, cambium to be connected oh. together. Then I take, I start here on the rootstock, make a, a cut down. And I make a cut like this. And then, the same thing you want to do it on on the on the sign wood here. So you see, it's like like a lip. I don't know what you call that. All right, and then then you kind of match them together here. So the next step is. Uh, I don't have a rubber band. I'm gonna get a rubber band and tie them together <laughs> and let them heal together. And just the rubber band? Uh, and then uh, there's a plastic that wrap the whole thing. So. Yeah, you should use a regular rubber band uh, or a special grafting rubber band? I use a grafting one. Yeah. Let me get the rubber band, just if you wanna pause the video. Maybe a month ago. Right. right. This is the Bordeso uh, Negra Rimado. No, and I grafted it on an unknown variety. And you can see it healed in and it's growing. Already has figs on it. 
I got them all back. Oh, I had them with a, like a telephone pole. It looks like, is that the paraffin that you have uh, wrapped yeah. around it? Yeah. yeah. So that's the trickiest part of the grafting, is the rubber band. Yeah. For me. I think that's where I went wrong, too, with the, well, that, and I'm sure other things. <laughs> we kept knocking it off with trying to wrap that, the band on it. Can you just use the graphing tape? or? I like this because it makes it nice and tight. With tension. With tension. Yeah. 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 You could use just tape, but uh, it breaks. Yeah, it, it's not strong enough. This one here? No, the one behind. It was not bigger. There's, there's easier methods, but uh, I like this one because the, the can be attached on like so many different sides, so it has a greater chance of success. All right. So the next step is wrapping this whole thing with that parafilm the grafting tape. I'll, I'll get you some of that. Uh, and uh, anything grows below the graft you have to remove right away. Yeah, that one That's it. All right, so we are at Bass's Fig Fest. Good crowd of people. And we are doing a fig auction or a fig raffle. So everybody uh, that comes gets a ticket. Everybody brings and volunteers some extra figs they have and then they get raffled off. Everybody gets to uh, choose a different variety. So this is about halfway through. There's quite a bit more stuff. But everybody was busy looking to see what was available, so I didn't have a chance to take a video. But there's some good varieties. I think I grabbed a Sakura Black and a couple other things. So it's a lot of fun, good way to trade and share. I'm going to build up a little bit more. I'm not going to get too crazy. But she's like, I don't want to jump up on the trees, you know. Okay, so we just got back from the Fig Fest at Bass's and I wanted to give a quick overview of some of the uh, things I got in raffles and trades. Um, I've up potted a few of these but this guy here is a Galicia Negra that's uh, I got from Bass and then to the right of it is a Sakuro Black that I got in the Fig Raffle. To the left of that is a family favorite fig that's actually the name, Family Favorite. And I got that as part of the Fig Raffle. Let's see, what else? Oh, this guy over here. This is a White Madeira. So you've all heard of Black Madeira. You've seen my videos on Black Madeira. This is a White Madeira. It's a newer variety that, uh, not a lot of info out there, but it looks exactly like the Black Madeira. Inside looks like Black Madeira. And it uh, is a green fig, though. So it's going to be interesting to see how that one does in the coming years. Not from the Fig Fest, but this is just a pretty fig. Bordeso Negra Ramada Variegated. The leaves are variegated, and the figs are striped, and it is my gorgeous, gorgeous baby girl. Anyway, back on to the results of the Fig Fest. I also got this guy here. This is a Godfather fig. This is uh, from Coop. Coop was nice enough to uh, give me this today after I had no luck rooting some of the cuttings. This is a uh, fig, and Coop found it from one of the people that worked on the set of Godfather. That fig was actually brought in from Italy just for the movie. So if you look, there's a scene in the movie where this fig is way in the background, but it was brought in, there was two of them brought in, shipped over from Italy for authenticity, and the one died, and this is the other one, and a cutting from that tree. So a little bit of legacy behind that guy. All right, let's see, what else? Let's go out here, because I already planted them. I tagged up with Ross today. Real nice guy. Make sure to uh, check out his YouTube channel as well. And this is a Triple Crown Blackberry. It is a thornless blackberry. If you look, there are no thorns at all anywhere on this blackberry. And it's supposed to produce real big black blackberries. Some more to come on that. 
And then over here, also from Ross. And I can't for the life of me remember what name Ross said, so Ross, if you're watching this, please feel free to comment. This was a different Blackberry that uh, Ross brought. And for the life of me, I can't remember the name of it. That being said, this one here is also thornless. No thorns at all. Compared to my black raspberries next to it, there are thorns all over the place. So it'll be nice to be able to pick some fruit without getting uh, pricked constantly. But the black raspberries are starting to form, and it won't be long now before we have some black raspberries to eat. I will have to protect these from the SWD. SWD loves raspberries, loves blackberries. So, and that's, uh, I think that's the sum of what I got. I uh, may have packed with my wife that I would bring more than I brought home. And while I did accomplish that, it wasn't by much. I did uh, come home with more than I thought I would. But that's the fun of figging, right? So it was a good time. Saw a lot of friends. Um, Raphael, Bass, Justin, Dave, Ross, you know, just a lot of folks that you talk to on the fig forums that you really just never get to see. So it was, uh, it was really a nice time. If you ever get a chance to go to a fig fest, you really should. It, uh, it's nice to be able to share some time with people that have the same hobby as you. I'm PA Figs. Have a good night.